So what we got here is a piece of oak. It's an ugly log. It's been on the ground for probably about nine months, maybe 10 months. Came from a tree that was uh, damaged. And uh, so what we're gonna do, if you take, take a step back um, from, from this angle over here, you can see this log's got some ugly sweeps to it. So what you do is something like this. Uh, I, I think I can mill it into some nice farm wood, maybe for some garden boxes, but it's a piece of oak. We're gonna see what's inside. It was the top of the tree. So it's not gonna be a high quality uh, board, but the boards ought to be good enough to, to get, uh, to turn it into some kind of a garden project, garden planners or something. So sometimes when you got sweeps like that in the log, it's probably not as easy to see from this angle how sharp it is. Um, it's, it's best to cut it off and find you the straightest piece in the middle. So we'll take the end pieces. Looks like I'm going to get one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five little, uh, firewood rounds out of it. And then, uh, I got an eight foot, eight and a half foot stick of, uh, lumber, uh, uh, or log in the middle left. That's reasonably straight that I should be able to mill into, uh, some, some projects. Uh, later. Now what I'm probably going to do today is just kind of mill it into a cant and then stack it somewhere and then come back to it when I finally figure out what I want to do with it. But that's the goal for this moment. So. <laughs> Oh, no. Huh. Yeah. <sighs> yep. Because that chain was uh, sharp. And if you look at the chain, looks, looks like, like it, it got uh, hot. And loosened up. Yeah, looks like it got hot. It stretched out, loosened up. That chain is hot. So I forgot to check the oil. Bad move, bad move on my part. Um, but, yeah. All right. So now we got an eight-foot sticker oak then I'm gonna take over to the mill and then we got some rounds that we can buck for firewood oh uh, that's a solid piece right here babe that is that's a good piece it of oak looks right like there. you really straightened it out too yeah so we got rid of the yeah. got rid of the curves in it uh, and so we shouldn't end up with a lot of waste we'll end up with no waste because the the uh, flitches that you cut off of it the the bark Harry, we'll come in here and we'll cut cut about an inch down on all four sides and then stack it. And the top pieces that we cut off of here will also be part of the firewood stack. So because it's oak. If it was pine, I probably wouldn't you know, I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't do that. We'll find something else to do with it. Chip it. Or hang it on something outside. Some outside. Alright, so yep. Yep, my bad. Hope I didn't ruin the chain here. Mm, and I can, I mean, because it, it seemed, I think it almost seemed brand new. There was like nothing on it. I can see how I, uh, how I uh, kind of stained it. Um, it heated up. So hopefully I didn't ruin it. Um, but Jane's rich. <laughs> yeah, she's buying a new one. All right, so let me go put this on the mill. <laughs>
top of a tree i don't know i didn't really find any good good face i didn't really line up the fifth worth of darn i don't think it actually was lined up yeah the fifth is pretty much dead center here uh but not on this end no not so on that end that's the pith there sort so, of that circle right there it's hard to deal with the the upper part of the tree like that it's kind of gnarly but if nothing else, I can generally mill it down with some four by fours or something to use as blocking material. Uh, and maybe I can get some good, good oak pieces to use around the farm. So I didn't want to turn the whole thing into firewood. Our firewood uh, stores are relatively full at the moment and we don't sell it. So that'd be too much like work. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, so that's it for that stick.